Okay, let's go ahead and uh, put our new handlebars on this bad boy. Uh, what you do is you to remove these risers. We've got to take those off first. Uh, there's an acorn nut at the very bottom here. Right down here. You can see it move, uh, move when I twist this. I've loosened this ahead of time, so go ahead and uh, just undo those and don't lose the acorn nuts. And then when you take the riser out, there is a washer that sits right in this cavity here. Make sure you take that out. Don't, don't lose the washer. Do that to both sides and we'll be right back. Okay, we want to go ahead and finish these risers and get them ready to go on the bike. So uh, this is what the riser looks like. Uh, yours may not have the threads here. This may be just a solid uh, turned area right here with the threads on the end. So anyway, uh, there's what it looks like. Uh, your stock uh, riser looks like this. So what we want to do is we want to just trial fit that in there. Just go ahead and screw that in there. Make sure that it bottoms out really well. It goes all the way down and bottoms tight so it doesn't move. And then what we want to do, we want to just take that back out and we want to put the thread locker on there. Make sure it's the uh, red thread locker that we give you in the risers. It's the uh, thread locker 262. So let's go ahead and squirt a little bit on, on the threads. Find it here. Let's go ahead and squirt that on there. I've, I've done that ahead of time, but anyway, go ahead and squirt the thread locker on the threads. And then we want to go ahead and screw that in there permanently. Let's go ahead and screw that in after the thread lock is on. Tighten it up really tight, as tight as you can there. Anyway, and make sure there's no movement there. It's nice and solid. And go ahead and do that to both sides, and then we'll continue on. Okay, one thing we can do while the uh, thread locker is uh, drying, we can go ahead and mark our handlebars. Uh, this is a short handlebar, but the long one looks the same. This is the masked end right here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put a tape measure on the end, and I'm going to go ahead and span that across, and I'm going to mark the, mark the, put a little mark on the handlebar, about 16 inches right there, probably about 17 and a half or so on the long bar, but go ahead and put a little mark on there, and then go ahead and flip your tape over the other way and put a little mark on the other side. That should leave two marks that are fairly close together, and right in between those two marks is the center of the bar, so... Let's mark them up and then uh, we'll be right back. Okay, I want to show you how our new risers go into the triple clamps. Uh, if you shove the uh, uh, riser down through the hole there, this is looking at the bottom of the triple clamp here. Uh, I painted that little flange underneath there yellow. There's a little uh, steel bushing under there that hangs down. What we want to do is we want to uh, put the, uh, these uh, thick washers that we gave you with the risers, we want to put those... So that basically what will happen is that that red washer will cover that yellow bushing once that's installed there. And then uh, I'll move this some down here so you can see that. So this is the riser going through. And this is the washer that will go over, the, over that uh, stud coming down. And then uh, under, uh, below the red washer is the, uh, the wire cable tie. Uh, it's a flat sheet metal piece that has the uh, wire things that come off of the to hold the, the uh, cables from moving around. So anyway, that's how, basically how it goes. So go ahead and do that. Shove that down through there. And then go ahead and put your acorn nut on the bottom and let's just cinch them up by hand. Uh, what you want to do is uh, grab hold of the black, the black, uh, change that camera. Grab hold of this with your hand, the black part when you, when you tighten up the acorn nut, just in case the uh, Loctite hasn't, cured yet on the uh, on the top part there so uh, go ahead and just cinch that acorn up just enough to where these turn and then you may have to get in with a screwdriver and uh, pop that little red washer yours won't be red but uh, make makes make sure that that fits over that sleeve there when you start snugging that up okay if you'll notice uh, the red washer uh, you can't see that yellow flange anymore that's the way it should look when you get it kind of cinched up there a little bit that that washer should go over that sleeve, and uh, that way it'll fit up a lot nicer. So go ahead and do that. Uh, like I say, leave those risers just a little loose for now, just a little bit so they rotate, and then we'll uh, go ahead and slap the bars on. Let's go ahead and change out our uh, throttle uh, grip now on the throttle side of the bike. It's really a simple process, so I'll show you how to do it. Okay, what we do first is we go ahead and take out the two screws on the back side here. There's one here and one back here under that wire, if you can see it there. 
go ahead and pop those two screws out. Don't lose them. And then uh, just go ahead and split that housing apart like that. We'll pull this camera back a little bit. And all you do is basically just kind of push that wire out. That wire, that big cable there will pop right out like that. So go ahead and let that just hang there. And then what you have here is you have your your uh, throttle tube and the cables. You can see how that rotates in there. So it'll be loose right now. Okay, all you do to release those cables is just take this housing and rotate it out like that. So it's out of the housing like, like so. And then just go ahead and rotate that cable around like that and pop that one out. And then you rotate that one around and pop that one out. And there you have it. Pretty simple. We'll show you how to put the new grip on. Oh, one quick note too. If you have a hard time, uh, remember you have to loosen this uh, adjustment screw all the way down this way with, uh, with this adjuster down that way as far as it can get toward this uh, metal sleeve here. Uh, what you need to do is get as much slack in the cables as you can so that these, uh, these cables will pop out of the housing. And also, if you have a little bit of a hard time, uh, pull, that, pull the cables straight out away from the bike. Sometimes if there's too sharp a bend on them, it'll also put a little bit of bind in the cables. So pull those straight out away from the bike and maybe it'll, they'll release a little bit better. So anyway, a little hand on that and then we'll be right back. Okay, I'll just show you briefly how to put these uh, sleeves on the uh, throttle tube. Uh, first of all, if you'll notice Avon's instructions, they tell you to use uh, throttle cam B, which is the wider one. That fits all bikes except uh, Honda, so uh, go ahead and use this wider one. And then what I do is I take an X-Acto knife. I like to trim the flashing and stuff off the outside of this uh, thing. There might be a little flashing from the molding. Uh, trim that off if you can uh, so that it may not bind when it gets into your throttle housing. And uh, the way this uh, glues on there, and, and there again, read their instructions. It's in the, it should be packed down inside the throttle tube. Uh, the, I think the little number two, they say a B, I think, but number two is uh, on the left side toward you when you glue that in there. So go ahead and glue that in as per their instructions, and then we'll continue on. Okay, I've glued this on uh, according to their instructions. Uh, one thing you want to note, uh, that this, the glue they use is a, is a crazy glue or a super glue, so don't get it on your fingers or your fingers will be glued together, so be careful on that. And then be sure and wipe all this little excess glue off around there and down in this uh, notch and stuff here. You don't want any uh, blobs of glue down there. It'll, it won't rotate freely in the housing. So uh, let that go ahead and cure like they say, and then we'll throw it on the uh, inside the throttle housing. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, put the new, uh, the new throttle sleeve into the housing. It's basically just a repeat of what we did before. So, uh, okay, what we'll do is we'll hook this cable in this way, just like that. And then as I rotate this around, I'll go ahead and hook this left side cable into that hole there. I'm doing this while the, this, the throttle tube is not into the housing yet. You can't do it while it's in the housing, so... Okay, there you go. Now, now that's in there like that, but see the, the throttle tube is still outside the housing. Then what we want to do is we want to kind of rotate this up into the housing and kind of keep this cable away from the edge there so it follows the contour of that housing there. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to have to straighten this out, possibly. Let's see, maybe not. I'm going to have to... Hey, we got her. So there it is. If you work with it and be patient, it should go in there okay. It's a little tricky. You may have to pull the... Uh, housing away so that the cables are straight uh, away from the motorcycle it gives you a little bit more slop there hopefully you won't have to go down to the carburetors and give them give the a little bit more slack there I think if you work with you'll get it in there okay but anyway there it is it's uh, in the housing you can actually turn it and, and hear the uh, slide on the throttle inside the carburetor so go ahead and do that and then we'll continue on Okay, now before we put this the, the housing uh, uh, back together, make sure that your cables going up to the handlebars, make sure these cables up here are going to be straight when we, uh, uh, not twisted when we put the, ha the grip back on the end of the handlebar. Otherwise, you'll have to just twist the housing and take it apart and redo it. So make that sure that's straight up there. And then all you do is just uh, basically just go ahead and repeat that process there that we took it apart. Just slide that, that cable into the housing there. Put that little cable in its little indent there, and then just go ahead and put that 
housing back together. So I'll put the screws back in. Leave it a little loose. Don't, don't tighten it up too much yet. Just leave those loose and then we'll be ready to slide them on the handlebars. Okay, we've screwed the uh, housing back together. What I like to do is uh, tighten it up a little bit and then loosen the screws just a little bit so there's a little bit of play in the two halves. And then uh, go ahead and give your tw throttle a twist and it should spring right back. Sound like that? It's really important that all this works freely because later on you don't want to have to have that bind up and have the throttle stick on you. That'll be a pain. So anyway, uh, one other thing to check uh, once more, just make sure that the uh, cables going up to the Make sure these cables are not twisted, that they're pretty much just like that, because they'll, you know, if they're twisted, then you'll have to just take that housing apart with the screws and twist it in relationship to this uh, gray cable. So make sure those are straight and that works freely, and then we'll be ready to go. Okay, to put the uh, handlebar back on the bike, what I do is I have this, uh, one of the clamps in my pocket ready to go, and then I'll just basically hold the uh, bar in, the, in my one hand, and I'll... Uh, make sure these are split apart enough so where you can slide the uh, handlebar over through the housing and have that little tab right there go into the hole. So that should go into the hole like that. And then I just set that on the bike. Set the handlebar on the bike. I'll turn the, hand, the uh, camera around here. And then take your clamp. Let's see, on these clamps too, I think the, uh, yeah, the, the little mark, the little uh, mark right there goes to the front. There's a little mark right on the top. So go ahead and set the clamp on there and just snug that, you know, just turn those two screws in with your fingers and that'll, that'll hold your bars in place for you to uh, let go and then uh, put the other clamp on. And make sure you uh, have your marks in about in the middle when you snug that up just a little bit. So go ahead and do that and we'll continue on. Okay, you've noticed they've, uh, I put the other clamp on top here. Just leave those kind of loose so the, the bars are held in place, but, but uh, later on we're going to have to adjust these up and down. So just enough to hold the bars in place. And you'll notice one thing, I'm doing all this with the tank off. If, the, if you're doing this with a gas tank on, be sure and put a, like two or three layers of towel uh, over your gas tank because if these bars were to shift to one side or the other, it, it, it could hit the tank and put a dent in it. So make sure you shield your tank real heavily when you do this. So. Anyway, there's the bars are in place, basically. Now what I want to do now is I want to go ahead and just snug these screws up just a little bit. Make sure that uh, that pin is in that hole there before we tighten it up. Like that. Go ahead and snug those screws up, and we'll continue on. Okay, the next step on the uh, throttle side is the uh, just go ahead and put the uh, brake uh, lever and the brake uh, master cylinder back on, just like it uh, came off there. Uh, if you'll notice on this uh, clamp, there's an up arrow, so put the up arrow on the up position and uh, I like to leave these loose right now just leave all this stuff kind of loose so because we're going to adjust this later so and uh, one thing uh, check your throttle again make sure it clicks nice and smooth and works good and one other quick thing on these gray uh, on these gray uh, uh, cables here wire wiring cables uh, usually these older bikes they get kind of a gluey looking brown stuff on them it does clean off real nicely with lacquer thinner so you can wipe those off with lacquer thinner if you want so anyway we'll, we'll uh, tuck those in later but and then now uh, go ahead and uh, plug in your uh, brake light too, your brake lever uh, go ahead and plug the wire in on that before you so you won't forget so let's continue on okay we're gonna do the left side of the handlebars now I uh, hope I did my math correctly on this, but uh, anyway, what we want to do is we want to put from the end of the bar to here, we want to put a little piece of tape here at eight and one quarter inches or uh, 210 millimeters. Let me zoom this in there for you. So I think I did my math on the millimeters, 210 millimeters from here to the tape. So go ahead and put a piece of tape right here at that mark, and then uh, we'll continue. Okay, next we want to file the end of the uh, uh, black powder coat off the handlebar like that. What happens is that powder coat builds up a real thick little edge right on the end there. So go ahead and file or sand that right down to the steel just like that. It'll help that clutch lever slide on a lot easier. And then I'm going to go ahead and put some oil on here and kind of rub it around. Just, we'll just oil that a little bit right up to that tape there. What, that'll uh, allow that clutch lever to slide on there a lot easier. So do that and then we'll, we'll show you how to put that clutch lever on. Okay, before we uh, slide the clutch lever over the uh, handlebar, uh, go ahead and remove this screw right here, the locking screw. 
Go ahead and remove that, and then I like to just put the a big screwdriver in there and just spread that apart just a little bit. You know, don't do much. You could actually break the, the aluminum, but spread that just a little bit. Then we'll slide that on the end of the, get it started on there. Now before you tap on this, uh, you may want to make sure your center clamps are, are a little bit snug so that the bar won't slide or hold on to the bar. Uh, when you tap this, but you can kind of tap this on there. Just tap it real gently, just to get it started straight. Kind of go around the edges there, just just uh, real real gently. That's just to get it started nice and straight on the handlebar. Then you should actually just be able to rotate that up on there. If it's a stinker, you can always get a a screwdriver and tap it right there. So either way, we want to slide this up to the tape. Okay, I've got the clutch leather lever uh, up against the tape. Uh, clean all the oil off really well. We don't want any oily residue there. And then let's go ahead and slide your grip on. And there should be a little less than two inches right here. That will leave enough... Uh, area over there for the switch housing so if there's a little less than two inches we're in good shape okay let's go ahead and uh, hook up our clutch cable uh, it's kind of the reverse of uh, way we, the way we took it off uh, go ahead and put a little oil down the on the cable there so it'll soak down in that uh, housing there a little bit and then put a little oil on your connector there and all you do is just hook it in the bottom like that slide it through the slots there make sure adjusters are in all the way If you pull that and work the clutch clip at the same time, it should pop into that housing like that. And there you have it. Make sure the clutch feels nice and free. And we'll adjust this in a little bit. Okay, next we'll go ahead and uh, put the uh, left side uh, switch on the handlebar. Uh, go ahead and pop the back side off it, the back uh, half. And then that, uh, oh, and then um, remember that little rubber washer. If you kept that, go ahead and slide that on there first next to the clutch lever. And then let's go ahead and pop that on there. And go ahead and put your uh, the back cover back on. And then we'll proceed. Okay, the last uh, thing you'll do is slide the grip on. And then uh, just uh, go ahead and tighten these uh, three set screws around the grip there. Uh, just go ahead and do it evenly. Do a little bit at a time and so they're nice and even around there. Uh, that's either a 2 millimeter Allen wrench or a 5 64ths in the American size. So... Uh, go ahead and snug those up, and then uh, that grip should be on there for good. Leave these housings loose. Clutch leather the same way. You can leave that loose. Oh, don't forget to put the screw, the uh, tightening screw back in your clutch lever there just to, so you don't lose it. We're going to go ahead and leave those loose until it's time to adjust everything here. We don't want to adjust things until we get the tank on. So uh, we'll continue on. We'll go on to the next step. Okay, I've got my seat back, uh, so now I can go ahead and uh, adjust my handlebars and tighten everything up. Uh, it's... Uh, the main thing we want to do is get the handlebars here in line with the front of the triple clamp that's here. Uh, so uh, it's kind of easy to do. Uh, what you do is you, as you tighten these top clamps, you also want to tighten the bottom down here. Remember those bottom bolts down below. Uh, we want to snug these up as we do this. So uh, you kind of have to work them back and forth, and you can actually twist. You can actually twist these handlebars a little bit in relationship to the triple clamp. So kind of work them back and forth as you tighten top and bottom. And then uh, make sure, whatever you do, uh, I'm, I've, I've said this before, but make sure that your, uh, your switch here doesn't hit your tank. Allow at least 3 eighths of an inch or so there, uh, clearance on that, because you don't want that to hit that tank. Okay, so I'll go ahead and, uh, uh, on, on your top clamps too, there's, uh, you go with the little dots forward on the uh, clamps. And the way you do it is you can, you can have just very little gap on the front and then the biggest gap on the back. That way when you snug those down, that's kind of how they're designed to go on there. Small gap on the front, big back gap on the back, and then the little dots to the front. And then while you're at it, let's go ahead and uh, adjust your uh, clutch cable. Now, turn your handlebars both ways when you're doing adjustments on these bikes because uh, it'll, it'll sometimes take some of the play out if you turn one way or the other. So I've adjusted my clutch, so there's just a little bit of play there. You go ahead and do that according to your owner's manual. And this is the adjuster here under the rubber boot. Uh, tighten, your, tighten your housing up here just to suit you. 
tighten your lever up here. You notice I've wire tied the wires up here. I have the clutch so it's going to go straight, nice and straight out of here so it'll work nice and smooth. Okay, when we get to the other side. Most of the problems with the, uh, the throttles is the fact that the, the cables kind of get a, get a little bit of a crimp in them and they don't work freely. So uh, that's why I have you loosen this adjuster all the way as loose as it'll go before you adjust your play in your throttle. You always want a little bit of play there. So go ahead and adjust that. And it should just snap right back. Make sure that throttle's nice and smooth because you don't want that to stick. There again, turn it both ways as you adjust it. Go ahead and tighten your brake up. Uh, wire tie your wires like that again. And uh, I think that should be about it. So kind of get that all buttoned up so it looks real nice. Let's see how that looks on there. Make sure your cables are all routed into the original uh, areas as nicely as possible. Snug everything up good. And then that should be it. Oh, there's Max in the background. He wants to make sure that you didn't forget to uh, uh, plug in your wires on both sides too, your brake and your clutch wire over here. Make sure you plug those back into your controls. I'm real anal about the way these bikes uh, turn out as far as the way they operate. Uh, one thing I found out, I wasn't really happy with the way the clutch cable worked. Uh, it kind of bound up a little bit and kind of kinked right in this area right here when I would turn the handlebars. So what I did is I went ahead and I bent this uh, little bracket here. It's that little, I think you can see it there. It's a little loop that's on the side of the motorcycle there. Okay, I just put a crescent wrench on it and I very carefully bend it uh, to the left so that, that uh, so the cable kind of routed straight through it instead of kink there. So let's follow that cable up. After I bent that, the cable runs up the side of the bike and then it comes through the, uh, the wire loop just like it did on the original bike. There it is right there. It's the clutch cable. And then let's follow it up here to the top. I'll try to be as smooth as I can here. Okay, where it comes out of the clutch cable, or the clutch lever right here, make sure it makes a nice clean swoop right here and goes back down through that little wire uh, connector there. And you notice I don't have it fastened to the choke cable here. It runs on, it, on its own. What you want to do is you want to turn the handlebars both ways and make sure that the cable doesn't cr uh, kink itself down lower. Then also make sure that your uh, free play on your cl uh, clutch lever is the same turn both ways and in the center. That way the clutch will work a lot better. So I just thought I'd just point that out. You want to make sure that clutch works really nicely. So let's get started on this bad boy.